In all candor, I would tell you it's outrageous filth. And if I could find some way constitutionally to do away with it, I would. Susan Baker and Tipper Gore formed the Parents Music Resource Center, or PMRC. The Washington wives are called Mrs. Albert Gore, the senator's wife, and Mrs. James Baker, the wife of the Treasury Secretary. They compiled a list of songs they found particularly offensive, branded the Filthy 15. It was Motley Crue, it was Wasp, it was the album that had the guy with the cod piece that had the big buzz song. And Tipper, her daughter, bought Purple Rain, Princess Purple Rain. I met a girl named Nikki. Guess you could say she was a sex mean. 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 Sex me, a man. Sex me, 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 Many parents felt lyrics had finally gone too far. Songs glorifying bondage. 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 Bondage.
rock lyrics have turned from I can't get no satisfaction to I'm going to force you at gunpoint to eat me alive. Some of it is encouraging unlawful behavior, 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 unlawful behavior. And music is harmless. 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 If it looks like censorship and it smells like censorship, it is censorship, no matter whose wife is talking about it. It's censorship. Looks like censorship. Smells like censorship. Looks like censorship. Smells like censorship. Smells like censorship. Censorship. Looks like censorship. Smells like censorship. Looks like censorship. Looks like censorship. Looks like censorship. Looks looks like censorship. Smells like censorship. Looks like censorship. Looks like censorship. Looks like censorship. Looks looks like censorship. Looks like censorship. Looks like censorship. If it is censorship, no matter whose wife is talking about it, it's censorship. It wasn't the first time that pop culture had been accused of poisoning America's youth. In the 1950s, politicians took aim at a different menace, comic books. The post-World War II boom in horror, crime, and romance comics alarmed psychiatrist Frederick Wortham, who testified at Senate hearings in 1954. It's my opinion, without any reasonable doubt, and without any reservation, that comic books are an important contributing factor in many cases of juvenile When I was a teenager, there was a rumor going around that the song Louie Louie by the Kingsmen had an obscene reference in it. Well, my friends and I did everything we could to find it. 
We played the 45 at 33, the 33 at 78, the 78 at 33, the 33 at 45, the 45 at 78, the 78 at 33, the 33 at 45, the 45 at 78, the 78 at 33, the 33 at 45, the 45 at 78, the 78 at 33, the 33 at 45, the 45 at 78, the 78 at 33, the 33 at 45, the 45 at 78, the 78 at 33, the 33 at 45 of 45 of 78 of 78 of 33 of 33 of 45 of 45